Uh, let's now say a couple of words about the economic calendar before we launch into MT4 and the various charts. I think that this week is slightly less intense in terms of economic data than the previous week, but still we have some important events. Uh, one of the main events is uh, the testimony of the Federal Reserve Chairwoman, Janet Yellen. She will uh, speak to the lower and the upper house of the U.S. Parliament on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Also, a couple of nations will release labor market figures, Britain on Wednesday and Australia on Thursday. Also, we'll have GDP figures for the euro area as a whole and for Germany as the leading economy of this uh, union on Tuesday. We'll have inflation data from China and Britain, consumer inflation on Tuesday as well, and uh, producer prices index from the United States on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we'll have consumer inflation from America, as well as the retail sales and industrial production data. So together, the comments from the Fed's chair, Yen, this will certainly uh, kind of um, form the market's expectations for the Federal Reserve's policy. For now, traders and analysts uh, think that the most likely term when the Federal Reserve will raise interest rate is in June. So uh, meeting in March is not actively discussed as um, the time for potential rate hike because we know that at the latest meeting the Federal Reserve uh, made a more moderate, more cautious approach. As a result, uh, there is still potential for U.S. dollar increase if uh, Yellen sounds more hawkish this time, uh, if Trump says more about his fiscal stimulus, and if this data, U.S. CPI, retail sales, industrial production, um, building permits, Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index, and unemployment claims on Thursday, if all these data come uh, positive. So, um, in this terms, US economic calendar this week will be rather important. Also, something I haven't mentioned, New Zealand will release retail sales on Thursday, and Britain will release retail sales on Friday. So, um, We can see that Donald Trump and the Federal Reserve are the main important factor for judging the further dynamics of the US dollar. 